I'm Dan Galush and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. You know, recently I uh, did this 25 yard shoot with the Buckmark, the Umarex Buckmark, uh, with the regular Browning Buckmark reflex side on it. Uh, I was just planking and I said something or other about paper then that I ought to try it with paper. Well, I'm not going to go to the 25 yards and try the paper, but what we are going to do is I'm going to go to 15 meters. That's just about 16 yards. And I'm going to fire this and see how it does on paper. And I'm going to use the dome pellets. Um, maybe I ought to go with the wad cutter, but dome has worked pretty good with these, and I used dome last time. So what we want to do is we're going to see what this is going to do. So let's go shoot, and uh, then I may even move up afterwards and shoot again uh, move up to like 10 meters so we're just gonna have to wait and see but we're gonna shoot this first Well, this was, like I said, at 15 meters, which is about 16 yards. And uh, a lot of the shots, I don't really know how many rounds I even fired. I just was firing away. A lot of them hit. I used the pistol target, by the way, as you can see, which I normally will use for, like, my 22s and 9 millimeters because it's a regular pistol target. But I wanted to be able to get a good look at it from back there. And a lot of the rounds hit within the black bullseye area. There are a few flyers out here, I don't really know, but you know, just just for the heck of it, why don't we move up to 10 meters, which is just right around 11 yards, and shoot at this again and see if there's a difference. And again, I'm going to use the dome pellets. So I'm going to set this back down and we're going to shoot again. Well, again, I lost track of my rounds, but uh, that gun is so doggone much fun to shoot. <laughs> you just keep wanting to shoot, but I, you know, videos can only be so long. And uh, this is this is a great, great shooter. And we're going to take a look now at what it did at the 10 meter mark uh, over the 15 meter mark. And I'm just going to take the target loose from here. 
I'm not going to shoot anymore. I'd say it did a lot good. A lot, a lot good. A lot better, I should say. And, uh, of course, you've seen it as it happened. And I'd say, you know, really a good grouping in here. I know this is what I had to have done at the 10 meters because the other wasn't doing that for sure. But um, I would say this is a kind of a 10 meter gun. Uh, except for the fact that it didn't do too bad plinking. If you watch the other video where I plinked at 25 yards, what I would have done on paper, I would say probably about the same that it did at the 15 meter mark. I just have a hunch, just remembering the way that it hit with the plinking on the empty seafoam cans and, uh, and the way this is outlined, on when I was shooting at the 15 meters, I'd say it would probably pattern about the same. Uh, so as far as paper accuracy and really good plinking, uh, you know, 10 meters is probably about right on. But it's not, you know, it's a pistol. And you're not going to get the same thing you're going to get out of a rifle. And it's, it's one heck of a good pistol, too. I mean, when it comes right down to it, it's, it's a it's a good pistol it's built well and I've done the review on it before so I don't need to go into a lot of that but if you want a real good targeting great barrel pellet pistol this Umarex Browning Buckmark you just, you just can't beat it and I really like the regular Browning Buckmark sight like I said before this sight was on my regular powder my 22 uh, that I had that was a regular browning bug mark and this one of course is a boomerang browning bug mark but uh, this one was on my powder version and uh, it worked good on there and it works great on here because of the rail it fastens good to that it's got the, the same sort of a rail it's just a very very good outfit that's all I can say for it. and you can see how well it shoots at 10 meters so until next time Shoot safe and have a great day of blinking.